What's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're all doing well today and welcome to Desert Sands Raceway. This is Eric's newest creation and he's been, uh, I don't want to say he's been AFK for a while, I've just not seen anything really been put out by him recently. Um, he's made very very good tracks in the past, ones I personally enjoy. And just the other day he released the 212 Raceway track, which was previously on MX Bike Shop, um, but he's now released it for free for everyone to play, so that's really cool. If you wanted the track that is of really high paid quality that has now been released for free, then go and check that one out. But today we are here to try and unite the sand lovers, I guess. This is a fully sand track. It's a track that he said the goal for building it was to just make a a full sand track that is fully raceable. It's got some pre-made roughness, it's got some pre-made ruts, and holy moly, this is actually really like sandy whooped out. Um, I have a feeling that my suspension that I'm running right now, which uh, is courtesy of Hemi, by the way, uh, it's a Supercross suspension on the Suzuki 450. I have a feeling that this might not ride it too well, but you know me, I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to suspension, so we're running it nonetheless. Now, I did want to say, I feel like Sand on this game can be very hit or miss, and I'm not sure what it is, and recently with the uh, release of the newest Beta 18 update, um, with all the sand tyre options that we get now, I've tried out a, a few sand tyres on a few of the different sand tracks like Lommel and Learop, and it might just be an opinion thing, it might just be feel because it's what I'm used to and it's more predictable, but the Midsoft 80 on the front and the Midsoft 120 on the rear, to me, still feel like the best options and I'd be really really interested just to know what you guys think on all that and if you feel much of the same or if you do prefer the sand tires overall uh, and there's not, obviously there's lots of choices now with all the different tire whips and such and I myself I'm not one for experimenting really with setups and different things and tweaks here and there I just hop on the game and play it like, I don't mess around with all that stuff so if you are someone who is very setup orientated and you've already done all of the hard bits and put the hours into making a really good setup and you found something that works well on sand do let me know but i mean so far you know sand has that horrible horrible audio that you can hear this track has that so i know for a fact that it's fully just like deep sand traction but so far other than the now two crashes that i've had they've been jump related i haven't i don't seem to be sliding out in the corners at all which it's odd. I don't. I don't usually get that. Obviously, there's there's a limit to how far really you can be cranking the bike over when you're on sand. Uh, it's all about finding that sweet spot and what what is right. But so far, so good. The track feels actually really nice. And just going over that rut there, usually I'd be up. Oh, never mind. I'd, exactly what just happened there, where it pinged me up in the air. I was about to say that's what I thought was going to happen <laughs> on the corner before. Um, so it is still possible. I was just going to say it seems like the ruts have been built with quite a smooth backside, which that, that actually sounds quite strange, taking that out of context. But the back backside of the rut, or berm, whichever you want to call it, I'm going to say, it's been smoothed out quite a lot. So it looks like you can go over them by mistake without too much of a, of a consequence. It definitely, definitely, definitely needs a 450, this track. I think if you used to go on a smaller bike, you would be really, really lacking power. Might get away with it. Well, I mean, you'll get away with it on a 350, maybe a 250 at a push if you're like one of the more top-end riders, or maybe you just enjoy your sand overall. Jams, I am calling you out randomly in a video. This will be a track for you, sir, uh, the king of sand himself. Uh, I'm, I myself, it's weird because I don't enjoy sand tracks normally, but the odd one or two I really enjoy. But saying that, I've not dabbled too much since all of the updates and beta 18 updates. Back in the beta 16, 17 days, I, like Lommel and Learop used to be some of my favourite tracks in the game. You used to be able to get a really good flow going, just jump your way around the entire track, get a nice rhythm and just really channel your inner hurlings. But yeah, nowadays, not so much. I tend to just bounce my way around the track now and don't get much of a flow going at all. Let's try and hit this step up this time to the top. Oh, that's a bit of a stretch. That was fine though. And maybe, I don't know, maybe I should hop onto a Yamaha doing something like this, something that I'm a bit more comfortable on, a bike that I've put a lot more time into than the Suzuki. Um, but I really wanted to ride the Suzuki today. I'm, I'm recording this video straight off the back of uh, live streaming the Fraz Memorial event. Um, we literally, I think we got to like 250 or so viewers on that at one point. And for a random, let's call it fun event, it was a memorial event, but we'll just, oh, what it is, it was a one-off random race. 
which wasn't part of any championship at all. It was purely for the MX Bike community to pay our respects to someone who unfortunately passed away, who was a big influence, I would say, in how, where the game is at the moment. Uh, spent a lot of time helping the Ace Moto guys get in their series up to where it is. Uh, spent their own money in getting us tracks, like paid for drum, uh, drum clog to be made in game. Also commissioned the GP of Glen Helen that G Dub and Bayer made to get in game as well. Um, so definitely con contributed their fair share. So it was just a way of us showing our respects, giving him a final send off, and what was really, really nice as well is uh, so myself I, I was streaming it from a pov perspective like i usually do um reaper doc was streaming it from a commentating perspective and i've been told that uh, fraz's friends and family were tuning in to both of those streams to watch it as well so even if they have no idea what mx bikes is they got a little glimpse into our world and watch us kind of sign off sign off our man so massive thank you to everyone that was there and i was originally i've kind of gone a bit off topic i was originally gonna ride the suzuki 450 for that race that's that's where i was leading with this um but at the last minute uh, cam came through and he said get on the yz 252 stroke because that's what fraz rides so i hopped on that last minute and it actually went really well I, I quite enjoyed it it took me the first moto to get used to it after that it was good fun um, but i really wanted to ride the suzuki at some point today so that's that's why you've got it here in this video uh, this is not a public skin at all I, i've been getting quite a few questions recently about my skins and like my boots and things 99% of the time the things i'm wearing are private like the boots i've got on right now they aren't even public stuff at all it's i literally downloaded the boots template and went in photoshop and messed around with some colors myself so they're, they're made by yours truly and um, the bike is made by mcchicken for like mccreation skins so that, that's that's that um, i quite like the setup i've got i am still running the uh, the fraz tribute gear uh, that actually goes really really nicely with these boots it i think the colors just work really well and that that wasn't planned i made these boots before ever downloading this gear it was just a happy happy little accident in the words of old bob ross I'm um, gonna shout out my man Bob. He's been, uh, been the voice that I fall asleep to a fair few times in my life. Uh, I was very happy to find out that you get um, quite a lot of Bob Ross episodes uploaded onto YouTube. So if, if ever I'm having a night where maybe I'm struggling to get to sleep, I'll slap those on on my phone, put my phone down next to my pillow, and just drift off to sleep. And it's really, really nice. I, uh, I'm not one for like proper ASMR or anything, but I'll, I'll always fall asleep to a, a normal YouTube video, put something on in the background. Whether it's something intentional like that, there's a, a guy called, I think his name's Felix, I could be wrong, uh, but his channel is called Bomb Gardener Restorations, he does art stuff, he's got a very, very soothing voice I listen to as well from time to time, and sometimes I'll even pop on like some Rocket League streams, like Johnny Boy who streams Rocket League, um, I've also done, like listened to some of Virtual's Cup of the Day live streams on the Trackmania side of things, I'm kind of here, there and everywhere when it comes to my YouTube uh, recommended section, but it's, I mean, to each of their own, I guess. Uh, so, let's go back to this track, now that I've spun three and a half laps so far. Um, track is actually quite enjoyable so far. I, um, I didn't expect to find it as straightforward as it is. Um, it, once you kind of learn the layout of the track and what routes are the fastest in each corner, I really think you can set the world alight around here and go for some super duper fast lap times. For a sand track, I'm surprised that there aren't some like longer whooped out straights. This whole section here seems to be one of the most high pace part of the track. If you look up at the track map in the top right, you'll see a lot of it's quite a lot of switchbacks, like back and forths. There seems to be like at least three ruts in every single corner, which I think is really, really good for the racing side of things. Obviously, I'm not going to sit here and try out every single rut in every single corner <laughs> in this video, but it's, I think he's done a very, very good job on this. Uh, from what I can tell so far. Uh, off track vibe, very very nice, we've got some cacti dotted around here and there, does give you a good old desert feel which obviously ties into the name of uh, being Desert Sands Raceway. Uh, I like the tyres that he's got around the edge of the track because I think it would probably look weird if he put full tape dotted around everywhere, I think tyres are definitely the way to go, uh, very like minimalist vibe and he's said that if you stay within the tyres everywhere you go, you should have no problems with getting cuts or anything like that. It's when you start venturing outside of those that you're probably pushing the boundaries a bit and you'll probably get some, some time penalties. It'd be quite interesting to see if I see this track on any public servers at all, because I'll, I'll be honest, I, I feel like a broken record when I say this, but I'm so bored of seeing the same old Forest and Club and Paletta over and over and over again. I've been playing a bit of the Papiti servers recently, just trying to get my MMR up, uh, just as something to do in general, and I can't lie, I've 
probably put about 10 hours into it, into the last three days or so, been really, really grinding away. And it's just the same tracks though, and they get boring in a hurry. I'd genuinely love to see a stat of how many laps I've raced on Forest since I got this game. Because Forest, if it follows you that haven't been around the channel for a while, Forest was like the track to hot lap and get world records on back in the day when world records meant anything. And I spent hundreds and hundreds of laps grinding away at that track trying to get world records so I'm kind of all forest out and it, it wouldn't be uncommon now for me to load up the track and within three laps be running like 102 lap times uh, they're pretty consistent now and common for me and it's just one of them tracks where I've got the muscle memory just ingrained into my brain perfectly I could probably play the track with my eyes closed maybe that's a subject for another video who knows when eventually I do face cam we'll do Playing Amex bikes blindfolded and see how far I get around the track. Or I could get, ooh, oh, now my brain's working. I could get my girlfriend to kind of tell me where to go and direct me and, oh, that could be a great video idea. That's, that that one's going in the, the notepad at the end of this video. I'm going to write that one down. And yeah, overall, I mean, it's a fairly fun, flowy track. You guys can kind of see it for yourself. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Did you just see what I saw? There he is! Look at the logo! Oh, I love that. Thank you very much, Eric. I had no idea that he was putting that in there. Big, big dubski. Thank you very much, sir. I love... Yeah, that, I mean, that's, that's cheered me right up. Big, good stuff. I mean, yeah, the track's are 10 out of 10 now. You know, definitely go and download it. Go and run untold amounts of laps. You know, no no, no reason at all. It's, <clears throat> it's really, really good. This is a fun track. Not even trying to be sarcastic at all. Um, I, myself... Not usually the biggest fan of sand in recent updates, as you can tell, but oddly enough, the traction seems really, really good. And I'm not sure if it's just the way that he's built the ruts, like the lack of flat corners. But it seems to flow well, kind of jump from inside to inside, double your way around the track. And that's that's what you want from a sand track at the end of the day. You want something that's really, really flowy. Nice that he's made it a 40-man gate as well, so maybe keep, keep a look out for this in future uh, public lobby live streams. Maybe I'll call upon you guys in the Discord to get a race going around here at some point. Maybe we can do this with some higher roads, see just how uh, wild it gets. But overall, really, really good stuff. I think the decals look good. Uh, Off-track looks great as well. Obviously, the objects, you know, for no reason other than certain logos being placed, they look really, really good. So all around, good stuff. Happy days. Um, a bit of a short video than usual. I was in a bit of a rush there. I can't lie. I, I say a rush. It's all self-inflicted. I procrastinated so hard today. I've just sat here in complete service rather than getting my job done first and then going and playing for leisure. So I do apologise for that. I hope you can forgive me. Um, but I hope you enjoy this track. I'll leave it down in the description below for you as always. Let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know if you are quite quite good on sand in this game if you prefer sand or if you're more of a standard soft soil kind of guy you know the sort of soil you get on forest and those sorts of tracks the extra grippy stuff a few of you weirdos like sand i know you do but i'm gonna love you and leave you hope you enjoyed the video please enjoy the rest of your day whatever you're up to drop a like and subscribe if you're new catch you in the next video peace